Okay. Hello, fellow Ark Adventurers, and welcome back to hunt number eight. Uh, we're strapped in and ready to go and feeling pretty good. You know, we've been doing a pretty good luck streak, so hopefully we will see if we can keep it up for today. So without further ado, let's get into the spin wheels. Okay, so... Per usual, as I've mentioned on hunts before, I've made some changes going forward, uh, just some stuff to keep going. So for those of you tuned into hunt number seven uh, and the hunts previous before then, I've had pretty much a set amount of movement gear that I've gotten every single hunt by default, including one uh, one glide suit, ten grappling hooks, and a set of climbing picks. The movement wheel up here in the top right uh, is actually what I use to get additional climbing equipment, whether it be grappling hooks, another glide, another glide suit, or more climbing picks. Uh, but I have now changed it to actually be themed packs uh, that will now be based around certain equipment that I would have started with before, but now don't get by default anymore. And my reasoning for this is just because I think that it adds more variety and more of a challenge on my part. You know, every hunt I look at having, you know, a canoe or grappling hooks, I'm going to treat it differently. For example, like last hunt, you know, we could have just, you know, if I didn't have the canoe, I would have had to have walked around that entire perimeter. If I didn't have the grappling hooks, I couldn't have gone to those rocks. So now with these movement packs, pretty much, I can have those options available to me, um, depending on which one I get, but not every single one has the same thing. So I can't be guaranteed to have those items, which I think adds for more, you know, bit, a, a bit of more of a challenge for myself and for the video uh, viewership enjoyment as well. Um, so there's four main packs here and I'll explain them a bit. Uh, there is the mountaineering pack, uh, the exotics pack, the all-terrain pack, and the aquatic pack. Uh, the mountaineering pack uh, has a set of uh, I believe 20 grappling hooks, three sets of climbing picks, and 20 parachutes. Uh, the the aquatic pack has the full set of scuba gear along with a canoe. The all-terrain pack has the 10 grappling hooks, the one glide suit, the one set of climbing picks, and then a raft, a wooden raft, and then the um, exotics kit has some fun gizmos in it that we haven't gotten into at all, but includes a gas mask, a, night, a, a set of night vision goggles, uh, a motorboat, and a zip line and motor zip line attachment. So some very interesting things, a little off the cuff, that I'm excited to get into and try out um, during the hunts themselves to see what we can utilize and get into. So... Without further ado and anything else to explain, um, oh, there actually is one other thing I have to talk about. Sorry, real quick change too. Um, you may notice on the offhand utilities spin wheels, I changed one item, and that being the glow sticks. I've actually put the glow sticks inside of my generally, um, or my automatic gear that I get every round at this point. Uh, reason being is because just when going into the darkness, uh, it's hard for even the viewers to see what's going on at times. I got some feedback from a couple of you guys on that. So now I'll have those by default to use uh, at my disclosure if we get into a dark situation. Uh, and I have replaced it with the charged light, uh, not battery, but I think it's like the charged torch or something like that on the spin wheel there, uh, which can be utilized to stun enemies with light, which is pretty sweet. But that's all I have to say. So without further ado, let's get into the dinosaur. So hopefully we can get something pretty interesting here. I'm very excited to get back into this. Hunt number eight, we're coming in on the last couple hunts of this season, which is pretty wild to say the least. Ooh, okay. Oh man, all right, this is gonna be a cool one. Um, a bit of a deep breath. This is a very unique creature and one that I haven't had too many dealings with. So I'm, I'm pretty stoked to say the least, but I don't know how this one's gonna go. So, um, let's go ahead and get moving into the equipment. So, whoosh, whoosh. and then we'll spin for this. Guys, this is going to be an interesting one for sure.
Oh man, fellas, <laughs> we are we might be in for a ride this time. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. <laughs> this is definitely, definitely going to be one for the books. I'm a uh... Wow, and now with the new movement stuff too, man, I am, uh, I'm really, wow, this is going to be crazy. All right, um, cool. All right, well, with all, with our uh, equipment accounted for and our, our target assessed, whew, let's run the analysis. Man, guys. All right, I am going to set up the sheets and stuff. Uh, for those of you here and for the unedited content, I'm going to pause the video just to save myself some data and some time editing this part out. So, sorry, I'll tune you guys back in once I get like right near the end of it. But stay tuned for that. For those of you who stayed in for the edited stuff, um, it was a 7.50, which is crazy cool. So, that's exciting. <coughs> And now I'll come back to the rest of it. Goodness, my voice. I'm still getting over my sickness. Oi. <clears throat> Whew. There we go. All right. Now that that's over, let's get into defining this monstrosity. So, I know Velanosaurs don't spawn here. I don't think they spawn here. They might spawn here. I don't know why that adds there, but let's check Ragnarok. I don't think they do. They're a bit more of a particular spawn because they came out in DLC. Okay, they are not on Ragnarok, so we can confirm they're not here. Crystal Isles might have them, <clears throat> which I would like to go here at some point. I've, it's heard it's an insane map, and I've played on it a little bit. But it's uh, I haven't done a lot of in-depth stuff on there before, so definitely would not be opposed to finding something on there. Although I'm not seeing one on here either, which that's a little concerning, just a little bit. Okay, Lost Island, maybe they have them. <laughs> Let's see if they have them here. No way. Do they not have them either? That's crazy. Oh my god. Is it going to be another Fjordor, Fjordor run? Jeez a whiz. I mean, it's possible that the other maps have them, but they're just not listed. Oh my god, I wonder. Are they not listed? Oh, that's going to make this up. Oh no. Oh, that's bad. That's bad, y'all. Because I know they do spawn. So, so this is this is where we reach some serious stuff because they do spawn on these on some of these maps canonically. I do know that because I've played on them and I've seen them before. I know they spawn on Fjorder, no, no doubt. However, comma they don't give any kind of clues as to where they're at. I think I know where they are on the game, in the map. It's on the surface world. The question is, do I go after them on Fjorder? Hoping I know where they are. With no... Oh my god. <laughs> Man, this is a decision, guys. Or do I go to Lost Island and hope that they're there somewhere? That's because <sighs> we could we could spend all our time on Lost Island and them not even be on there, which would be critically awful. That'd be terrible to know. 
I can't believe they're not on any of the spawn maps. Let me just double check, because I, I swear there's no way. But, I mean, I, I don't think they'd be wrong. I just can't believe they wouldn't show that. You know, there's Vulture, and then there's just nothing. Oh, my God. Jeez, guys. I don't know. Because they could be on Lost Island. I, they, there's definitely a chance. And I feel like they'd have to have them. Like, there's no way they wouldn't have them. But I just don't know if they're there. Man, this is tough. This is really tough. I, I think we have to go Fjorder. I think there's no way I can risk going to a map without him. I think we have to go to Fjorder. And there's just no way around it. I just don't think there's any other option. Because realistically, if we go somewhere else and there's no dinosaur there, we're just wasting a life. Whereas here, at least I know for a fact they spawn because I've seen them there before. Um, I just... You know how I feel about this map. So, <sighs> oh man, guys, this is gonna be something. I really, I really hope we have a good one in store, though, because I'm not gonna lie. It's, I, I've been kind of feeling a little bad about how the last ones have been going, and I'm really excited to get into something that's gonna be challenging. And maybe I'm eating my own words, but let's see what happens. So, <sighs> all right, <laughs> well, send us in. <laughs> Dag gum it. Alright, so let's open up Arc and get into the main setup, and I believe it should all be going according to plan, I believe. Or not. Oh, you know what? I bet it's because I have two of these open. Crap, how'd I do this? Hold on, I think I have a problem here. Um, hold on, I'm actually going to pause this. Okay, got that fixed. Alright, and Fjorder it is. Goodness gracious, fellas. This is going to be a stretch <laughs> this is gonna be something else um, and you know on top of this so I, I don't get that regular movement here that I'm so used to having uh, we have no grappling hooks we have no canoe we have no climbing picks even so it's oh my god it's gonna be so crazy doing this um, I have a zip line which will be pretty useful um, and we have a motorboat, which might also be handy. Um, the problem with it, and I'll get into this probably during the main hunt itself as it loads in, is that um, they require gasoline, which I haven't gotten into yet, but I actually use that as a consumable from my tech garage. So if I want to power both that machine and that, I have to get gasoline from my converter. And um, I'll show you guys all that stuff too. But like... Man, oh man, oh man, this is going to be a tough one. <sighs> I'm actually might pause this again because this is taking a while to load in. No sense in wasting good footage. So I'm going to do that. All right. So if I'm not mistaken, I know they spawn. Well, I believe they spawn in Vanaland West. I believe. So I'm going to I'm going to shoot for there and hope we get this. Oh man, guys, I'm so nervous. <laughs> I'm so worried to be back here. Ah uh. And we don't have much equipment either as far as good stuff goes, so I'm really hoping I just get lucky on this spawn point. 
which might go bad quick, but let's hope for the best. Expect the worst. Okay, do a quick check of the... Uh, dang it, I think I'm on the wrong side. I think, I don't know. I'm not too sure. Okay. Let's do a spear. Get ten of those. Bear trap. Do boomerang. Charge. Do simple. Do flashlight. Do hide. Do um. Okay, we need a gas mask. We need night vision goggles. We need a crossbow to do the zip line. Zip line motor, motor boat, and jump pad. Okay. So let's get on this stuff. Okay. Um, GCM. And then we get 15 plus 8, because we rounded up, so add experience. Let's do 10,000, zero, zero. So that's 15 plus eight, which is 23, I think. Yes. Awesome. Yeah, that's that's right. Okay, so let's definitely do health. Let's do stam, fortitude, 
Movement speed. Melee damage. Okay. And then... I think we got everything. Um... <clears throat> okay. Uh, and with that... Whew, let's strap up. Okay, and we are in it to win it. So, um, I think I may have spawned in the wrong spot, which isn't terribly bad because this is a more of so of a medium location, but it just means we have to figure out where exactly we need to go. And I know it's the volcanic area, which I believe I picked the actually complete wrong side of the map for. Actually, I actually think I see it way over in the distance over there. So, that's on me. That's I take full responsibility for that action because, you know, that's just dumb fate, I suppose. Uh, so, the good news is I'm not entirely not able to go on the water. Um, we do have a motorboat. And so that does come with the exotics kit. And this is something I was got to say, too. So, the motorboat and the zipline attachment that I have, uh, which is on my hip, which you can see is on the pants here... Uh, is actually uh, powered by gasoline. And so gasoline actually comes, uh, in the regular game, you make it out, out of using oils and stuff like that. Well, to avoid that kind of crafting process, I actually put it in part of my tech gear. So without further ado, I'm actually going to show you guys the tech garage that I've been alluding to for a couple of times now. So let's do that real quick. And I believe it should be... Oh, there it is. It's right here. Sorry. So, this is the alluded to tech garage. And it has two pages. Uh, it's page one and page two of all different types of equipment that I can get and purchase. And so I'm going to give a quick rundown of how this works and pretty much, you know, spark notes rendition as much as I can. Items are here. Uh, they cost scrap to obtain. Uh, scrap over here is either scrap metals and electronics that are put together from the tech dinosaurs that I kill. Uh, elemental dust, which I also get from tech dinos that I kill, uh, can be converted into an energy source called element, which powers some of these items, specifically more so the ones on page two uh, require element in order to run properly and efficiently whatsoever. So I have to use that to convert it. Um, I have different converters for those, but we'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, and then the other one I have over here is oil, which I also get from tech dinosaurs, which can be converted to gasoline. And so the way it works is pretty much it takes two oil to make one gasoline. So it's a half conversion. Um, and it takes 25 elemental dust to make one element uh, shard, so they should say, or element um, to you know make that. So I can get from this hunt about 10 uh, rounds down. So I can get 10 gasoline from this 21 oil uh, to use at my disposal if I want to you know go forward with doing that um, so I am going to probably spend the 21 oil to get the 10 uh, gasoline so I should be able to edit this straight from in here if I'm not mistaken so if I want to go into the oil gasoline counter in here and let me see I should be able just to edit this turn this into 10 Okay. It moved over, but that's all right. I don't know why it's being weird, but move that back over. And then turn the oil properties. I'm actually going to just put zero, zero. Cool. 
Awesome, and that's pretty much that. So I've converted that over. I now have 10 of these. I actually need to make put zero one. my bad. So still a work in progress system, but I hope you guys can understand the concept behind it. Uh, you know, just kind of makes things easier on me for doing that. So now that I'll do that, I'll spawn in 10 gasoline that I can use on any of the equipment that I have. Okay, and so now with that set up, I'm actually going to spawn in that gasoline using a, another cheat code real quick. So I'm going to do that real fast, which I believe uh, I actually might. I don't think I have up here. Okay, let me exit real quick, which won't take a second. I don't remember the spawn code off the top of my head, so i got to get that real fast. I should write these down. Cool. And now I have 10 gasoline. All right, great. So I'm going to split the stack. Uh, I'm going to split it in. I'm going to split it in half. I'm going to put five. Or at least one. I'll put one on my uh, my belt there, so I have that ready to go in case we need it. And then I'm going to spend the rest of the motorboat to get that to work. So let me put the motorboat down now. The big thing with the motorboat is too is that I won't actually be able to. Um, well, two things actually. One is that's going to attract the zikvies, and two, um, it's it's going to uh, it's not pickable. Not able to be picked up like the canoe is so I can't just be like oh I'm leaving and then take it with me so it's it sits in parks where it's at which is a bit of a disadvantage so what I think I'm probably gonna do is in the meantime I might actually try to potentially walk a bit of distance before I use the boat if I don't need to use it immediately uh, if I see some dangers I'll go ahead and get in the water but that way I don't have to worry about wasting any gasoline if I don't need to. I think for now it's relatively safe. I don't see anything really of particularly horrible note right now. And worst case scenario, we can just, you know, like I said, bugger on out of here. But I don't want to waste up my resources if I don't have to, especially since they're finite and very selected this hunt. But the coast here looks pretty decent, so I'm going to try to walk as much as I can during the day, especially since it's bright out, and then we'll hit up the rest of it as we keep going. Man, it's such a different feeling, like, knowing I don't have my movement gear. Like, it's crazy, because I realized it last time, like, how much of a crutch it became for me. Of like having the canoe, knowing I could just go into the water and get away from all the land problems and just get off and, you know, go into the water and be away. Or like have the grappling hooks and just be able to ascend up the mountainside. Like not having those things without it being really a punishment, but just being alternate stuff is low-key really exciting for me and a nice, you know, change in breath of fresh air. I mean, I am really worried about something jumping down this hillside, though, I must admit. I'm trying to just hop up and keep eyes. we got a long way to go before we get there. And granted, we could just try to make a break for it with the boat, but I'm trying. I don't know how much gasoline it's going to take up before we get there. I, it should be enough to book it over to it, but I'm, I'm just trying to make it as minimally risky as possible by doing it this way. Again, we just don't have the luxury of uh, our old equipment. And the big thing is now, too, if we run out of steam, like the lead Zikthes will kill that boat. Like they're going to come after us, and then we're really toast because we have nothing that can fight in the water except for some spears. And that ain't going to be much. I think I heard some compies, but they might be going away. Not sure if they're still around or not. Oh, we got a tech parasaur. We might have to take advantage of that. I 
almost certainly will have to take advantage of that. Again, it's more oil, so if we need it, we might as well take advantage. We've got to get it. I don't think the bear trap will get it. It might. Let me let me see. That way it doesn't get away. Oh, it's gonna take a minute to set, duh. Idiot on that one. Well, it's alright. We can try to coax it into there. Ah, you know what? Screw it, we'll just kill it. Cool, got that, and then um, let me actually, if I can, or not, Five more damage. I think the pick actually does a better job at harvesting those resources than some of the other stuff that we've used before. So let's go ahead and use that and just get this stuff. Yeah, cool. Now I got eight more oil to add, which is great. So let me actually just take a second and put that in the inventory right now. And so that gives us nine in total. We also got eight electronics and three scrap and then three more element dust. So let me go ahead and do that. So it's 24 on the element dust. And 37. scrap and then we can go back to the main setup cool awesome now I think I've ran out to as far as comfortability goes I don't want to walk up the cliff side no particularly bad reason but I, I just don't want to have to do that so I think this is where I'm gonna call getting in the boat and we're gonna sail forward so we got still a ways to go but I think it is our best chance so let's see what happens. Whew, spooky guys. Oh, I guess we can't. Can we not just jump on? Hello? There we go. Alright, now let's do this. So it's pretty fast. It should be able to outrun these keys that we get into unless it's an alpha, which that would want big time. Um, so I'm just gonna kind of keep my eyes out, make sure we got nothing coming on the horizons. But we should be. Oh my god, it's an alpha megalodon. Okay, that scared the crap out of me. But we got a lot of deep water coming up, so Hooey. that's gonna be a little spooky. But we're gonna be all right. gonna be all right I have no idea how much gasoline this is using at one time but I'm really hoping it's enough to, to be okay and I'm not seeing anything on 
the lead zig to use radar right now. Luckily we have this surround cam that we can help out and see any dangers, but worst case if we get in a tango with one, we can get into shallow water. But I don't think we have the firepower to kill one of those right now either, so we will see what happens. I'm really trying to figure out a good strategy for this Volanosaur because they have that turret technique. I don't know what we're going to do against that because, I mean, one bad look and we're toast. And we have no shields, so it's, it's going to be kind of interesting. I wonder if I should get some materials and build something. Uh, that might be the move, honestly, like some kind of structure or fort to hide in. That might be the move, to be honest. I might stop at an island and get some trees. Still not seeing any lead zig thieves, which is good. Let's keep it that way, please, God. Um, I don't want to stop this boat one second. If we, we get caught by one of those, we're doomed. So that's not the plan. Definitely not the plan. Like, scientifically, definitely not the plan. Alright, we're coming up on those islands there. Still not seeing any lead zig these, which is really good. Got some really deep reeves over here, though, so I'm really hoping we don't get one that pops up. I might try to park on one of these islands and see if there's no danger around. Let's see how we're looking. Lead zig these looking good. Nothing around us. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to check one of these islands out, just see if we can get something. God, I'm so scared. They literally show up out of nowhere, so I'm really trying to not... ...underestimate them. Okay, yeah, I think I'm going to stop at one of these places. We can get some resources here and try to concoct a plan now that we're pretty close. See what we're looking like here as far as Okay, so we haven't even burned through much of all anything yet, which is good. That's awesome. So let's get some resources real quick. I still don't think we're high enough to get stone. Cause stone would be awesome. Oh my god, we're one level away from stone. Oh, that's so crushing. <laughs> oh, man. That would have been really nice to have, but wood will have to do. We can get through it with wood. Um, actually, so I wonder if there's anything we could tame that would be of any help. Got a Paki saddle, Ichthyosaurus saddle, not really a Trike saddle. Maybe he could help Equus... Pulma Scorpio, Procoptodon. Eh, it's not not a crazy setup. We don't got anything really nuts on there. Uh, let's see. I think it's Hatchet. I need Thatch. Oh, okay. Get that in no time. Nope, oh, I heard that. Little bugger. At least for now, I'm going to put them right here, just for the time being.
And I'm thinking if we get some wood, we can make some kind of small ish fortress to help against, you know, protecting ourselves against the Volanosaur, because if we're out in the open, like, our pistols to their shots aren't going to do squat. They, they do so much damage so quickly, it's not even funny. And especially if there's, like, other predators, because I know this volcano area is teeming with them, so the least we can do is get some defenses set up. Oh my gosh, the tree of eternal wood. Oh, okay, eternity's over. Oh, what's chasing that guy? Oh, there's a Dillo. Well, I could just end him right now, but... We don't really need to. It is starting to get a little dark. I don't know if we'll have time to go over there today. At least not with this prepper we're putting in. Just an over raptor. No worries there. Okay, let's see what we can start crafting up. Can we not get that? Oh, wait, what do we need for it? We probably need fiber, don't we? Ah, forgot about that. Good old friend fiber. starting to get a little dark out which again isn't a terrible problem it's just you know we're gonna have to deal with that the charge light could be a good or you know be a good method of um taking out those guys too but that might be folly because we don't have any way of charging it unless we found some glow bugs or something Let's also make some of these. That could be a good move. Definitely against inside of that area, too.
Alright, well, it's getting dark, so I'm gonna do the crowd a favor. And we put some light sticks out. I think actually if I do... Yeah, I love glow sticks. Literally gonna slot it right on my back. And now I'm a glowing beacon. It's freaking awesome. So, let's see here. If we go... Maybe another tree. Oh. I guess the glow stick goes away when that happens. Which... Get some ambient light then. Luckily, it's not too cold here either, which is good. And let's see if we can get. So we got four bases, which I believe would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight walls. So. Should be four, and that should be six. What do we need? We need thatch. Okay, I think minus a ceiling. We should have everything we need for a... Oh, it is freezing. Oh, it's alright. I don't... have terribly slow health appreciation, which is good. Oh, wow, look, we can see the... the fire spot from there. Which is pretty crazy. Actually, since the charge light has no... Nothing going on right now. I'm going to swap it with the looking glass. We can see the, the fire up ahead, which is pretty crazy. We can sh shelter into our tent at some point soon. I just want to finish getting the ceilings done. This is pretty stellar. I mean, I'm not going to lie, guys. I'm feeling pretty good about this so far. I mean, granted, the situation we're in is by no means going to be a simple one, but I'm hoping that this structure idea saves our butt, but we'll see what happens. The hard part's going to be getting it set up while everything else is going on. So I'm just hoping that's enough. Just kind of wanted to get a look at the... Oh my god, guys. Look at this stuff. This is crazy. Now, the good news is I think that our quarry is down to the end of this island. But... That's wild. Look at that. That's crazy. I don't know if we can see anything from over here. Nothing living, at least. It's probably out of render distance, which is to be expected. But. It's quite wild. Quite wild indeed. Need more wood.
Oh, this another go inside the tree. Yeah. Go pop it now. Poppin' boys. Lots of wood over here, jeez. Alright, and ceiling. And that should be everything we need, I think. Our health's gone down a little bit, so I'll uh, set up camp maybe over here on this rock. Let's be out of the way of the main inhabitants. Let's see if we can get this tent up here. Oh, perfect. Let me do a little click. Ba bing ba boom. Shuttle shine, little shum. And then we just open and close. And that's that, guys. So we've got um we've got some strategy time now, which is good. You know, I'm really feeling okay, at least where we're at currently. Um I really don't know what's going to happen when we get to that island. Uh, there's going to be probably a crap ton of crazy creatures we're going to have to run into and deal with, which maybe we can deal with them from the boat, maybe we can't. depends on the water situation we got going on. I don't even know like how... I, we got to get the, the, the base set up and hope that it's enough to ward them off. Um, well, not ward them off, but enough to hold off their fire. Because if they start shooting at us and we can't get in that hit, you know, it's game over. Uh, our armor rating is pretty insignificant. Our, you know, firepower is not much. We don't have much in terms of melee. Uh, we don't have much in terms of a lot of things. We got some weird offhand stuff, but that's pretty much all we got going for us. So I'm really hoping that we can just kind of, you know, get get a little lucky and see what happens. I'm really, I really can't help but say that. I'm really stoked, though. This is This is really a... A different feeling, which is nice. I'm I'm really excited about it. I wasn't getting bored by any means. You know, I really appreciate everyone sticking with me the way they have been because I know they're really here for the content at this point. But I was starting to feel like it wasn't living up to the name. You know, I just I was really missing on that challenge aspect of it because of the way it was feeling for me. I mean, literally the only time I've died in this challenge was because of my own stupidity with fall damage, and that's literally been it. Like every other aside from that, there was one raptor that killed me on hunt number two, and that was pretty much the only thing that's happened um, that I've died from. So I'm not saying I want to die, but like I want there to be a challenge. You know, I want there to be something for me to have to you know actively work against and, and feel like I'm actually triumphantly coming over instead of just being like, oh, grapple hook the safety, the end, that's how it goes. Like, no. Uh, on occasion, sure. I mean, sometimes I'm going to need those and it won't even help, but, you know, it feels good having to kind of venture out a little bit and get more experimentative and see what happens. So, I'm excited. I'm excited, to say the least. But health is back, and we have about three hours till daybreak. Take a sip of Canada Dry and call it a night. <sighs> yeah, the Velanosaur is an interesting opponent for sure. One of the craziest dinosaurs they've come out with. So we're going to have to be like on our A game to even have a chance. But man, oh man, oh man. You know, for you guys sticking here for, you know, I don't know what I'll leave in and leave out, but you know, it's uh, it's been really cool having everybody hop on board so quick with the edited and unedited content. I know I'm doing a lot of small stuff right now. Nothing too crazy. Nothing too, you know, out of this world. But I, I've really been having a good time making these. So it's it's made me happy, at least in that sense. So despite how many viewers they get, I, I'm really happy to 
have something to call my own. It's kind of like fulfilling my own childhood fantasy of becoming a, you know, TV star on some dinosaur show of some kind in its own little way, which is kind of fun. <sighs> and we're at about 2.56. It's gotten a little warmer, so I suppose we can get out of the tent for now. Big old moon. That's cool. Uh, I'm really glad that the uh, the gasoline was able to hold us all the way through. And granted, uh, something I didn't mention earlier too is that that's not refundable. So like you know, if I use that up for this hunt, that's used. You know, if I convert that oil over, that's converted. So if I don't use all of it, you know, it all goes to waste, which is why it reincorporates so quick for having that stuff. Um, you know, it's imperative. Now, granted, I could have, to your guys, you know, to any of you who are maybe wondering too, I could have bought higher end equipment to go after the Velanosaur with. The reason I'm not is because, you know, again, that stuff doesn't come back. So if I use it now, it doesn't come back later. Uh, I really think for the finale stuff, I'm going to have to hold off. I just, I. I got a gut feeling it's going to be crazy, and I know it's going to be nuts because the dinosaurs are crazy on that list anyways, so for me it's more of like I'm saving up for that because we're going to need it for that for sure. But I have it if I need it, which is always good. Always good to have that. <sighs> oh, whoa, check that out. It's like giant glowing crystals under the water. That's really cool. I haven't been exploring much on this map. I've seen some things. I've done a little bit of poking around. Done a little bit of like casual playthroughs, but like didn't really ever finish them. Uh, so I've done a little bit of stuff on here, but like I still, this is a very fresh map to me too. Same with Lost Island, which is why, you know, I have a little more hesitation going into those areas because I'm just not too familiar with them. Uh, but this is this is a really cool map. And I've really loved the design of everything so far. It's just, there's a lot of crap here <laughs> as far as um, monsters go. So that's why I'm always so hesitant to hop on into it. But it is a very cool and well-designed map. So big props to the mod developers. I mean, this stuff is not easy by any means. Sun should be coming up at any point now soon. And then it's time to really test our metal. Because, yep, speak of the devil, there we go. Alright, well, sun's out. Gun's out. Let's do this. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up the tent. And we're going to head on out of here. Let's get over to the boat. Let's get an early start on today. And now that we don't need those, I'm actually going to switch back these guys. And I might be switching them out again soon. <coughs> Big thing is we just got to be ready to go. Got about 46% fuel left, I think, on 8. So I think that's 46% of the 8th one left, which is, I think, good. But let's see. All right, onward. Now again, I believe the Velanosaur is over where there's like these kind of sulfur pits, um, or hot springs, I should say, and tar pits. And I think they're over near that area. So we should go over there. We should be able to find them pretty quickly, hopefully. And once we locate them, it's just, you know, getting through the rest at that point. So let's lead take these check here. I think we should still be okay, I believe. I don't see anything. It's a lot of ocean nonsense. I'm just hoping we're not running into one. I'd rather one come from behind us than in front of us. But life doesn't get to give us choices. So we'll see what happens.
So it should be over around these areas, if I'm not mistaken. I'm going to try to see if I can spot one from the shoreline, but I don't know if we'll be able to. We might have to go afoot. You see how we're looking down here. I'm not seeing any lead zick these, so I'm going to take a quick pause. I think it's too shallow for him anyways. Let's see if we can get anything. If we get in a little closer. Got some Argentavis. Kind of hard to get a visual on the shoreline. Thorny dragons. Got some X aloes, which is nothing we want to deal with there, that's for sure. Take a quick look underwater, make sure we're still doing okay down here. I'm still not seeing anything, which is good. A lot of allosaurs, which is, you know, no bueno. Some thorny dragons. Sure we're still good. I think we're still shallow enough to be okay. <coughs> Check down along this side, maybe. Still not seeing anything. I'm thinking our primary targets will probably be up on that inland spot in the mountain craps there. Mountain gaps, goodness. Try not to go too far out in the water. Cause that's where the Zikthes like to be. Bring this back half of the mountain. <coughs> Probably won't pose too much good for us. Yeah, just a lot of lava slides. Alright, yeah, I'm going to turn this puppy around. Go ahead back over the other way. sucks I can't steer <coughs> when doing that view I'm gonna try to find as much of an accessible point as we can without you know too many blind spots I don't want to get surprised when we park Definitely would not be the move. Okay, I think we're completely clear on lead Zikthes, which is really good. Really lucky draw there. Got some X, a lot of X stuff fighting over here. I actually think I'm gonna, in a weird way, park the boat here. As much as I don't want to, I think that. I don't know these, if these aloes will be out outdone or not. In a weird way, I kind of think we could help them out, but I don't know if it's possible. 
Okay, now they're they're killing everything. Jeez. I mean, they are tearing stuff up. <coughs> they shouldn't care about us, though. I'm fairly certain. Unlike the canoe, the land animals don't see the boat whatsoever. Unless they updated, which would suck. That would be bad. But I don't want to land over here. I was thinking about it, but they are just, uh... Yeah, they are going to kill that guy. I mean, unless we lead him into water... I don't want to attempt it. I don't want to go them into something I don't want to do. Man, guys, I don't know what we're going to end up doing here, but... Going to have to be figuring it out pretty quick. Oh, I think I see one. Oh, yep, 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 yep. I just saw one. I just saw one. Okay. Alright, let's go to shore. And I think in a weird way... We got seven. I might leave the boat on. Be a bit of a risk. But I think in case we ever need to jump back to it, it might be good just to have it on. So we can just grab it and go. I mean, if it's going to be used anyway, we'll be either making it or dying here. So I, I'm going to leave it on. Um, might be a bad decision later, but I'm going to I'm going to do that for now. I'm also going to swap the trap for the walls and windows, so we can make a quick structure um, as fast as we can. Okay, so don't go in the lava. Noted. Whew, I'm nervous, guys, but that's what we gotta do, so I'm gonna head on in and we'll figure this out. God, I'm so worried. I don't know what's going to happen. I see those trikes. I might move I might move toward those. God, it's like this whole place is a living death trap. Yeah, I'm gonna move to the trikes actually. It's super hot here too, which means we're gonna be losing health quick. So we might actually need to use the tent. Wow, we're losing health really fast. Like crazy fast. Holy crap. Okay. Well, let's um I know I just saw that, whatever that was. Man, this is not an optimal situation at all, guys. We're already almost down to half health. We're still losing health, even in the tent. Okay, we're gonna need a new plan. We gotta get offshore, we're dying. Wow, guys, that's crazy. Okay, we're gonna need another plan. It's too hot in those fields. Gotta restore our health. Just back up and give us some space. Oh, there's one right next to the shoreline, actually. Now, I could just shoot him from the boat, but I think he can still shoot me. 
So I don't know if I want to risk that because I'm totally open and I'm already at half health right now. I can't even take one of those hits. But there is one right there. Okay. Perhaps if we play this right, we go back into shore and we build that base real quick. Now, I don't know if that Kentrosaur is going to pay us any mind or not. I also don't know how close I can get to that Velanosaur without him triggering. I'm going to try to make this as fast as I can. Hope for the best, expect the worst. Try to stay away. Oh man, I'm trying not to do anything. Crap, 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 crap. Pick up wood floor. Though it's pretty far away. Shit, that's a basilisk. Oh my god. Run 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 Get get on the car get on the car Luckily it was stuck I think Oh my god Holy crap I didn't even see him Okay yeah he's getting out Oh my god. Okay. I wonder if we can snipe him from here? It's possible. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know if we'll be able to hit him or not. Is that a magma Oh my god. We are so doomed, guys. This is why I don't want to go to fire. Ugh. There's no way. How are we supposed to kill him? Oh my god, there's a Magmasaur up there too. That's... Oh no. Oh no, guys. I'm trying to get this Basilisk. Can't tell if there's a rock there or not. Crap. Crap. Oh my god, guys. Alright. Um... I'm gonna try to see. I wonder if it's like against a rock or something. Okay. I'm just trying to kill him. If I can. Oh shit, I just hit the Velanosaur. Oh my god. Oh my god, drive, 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 drive. He's coming at us. I wonder, I, I, oh my god, there's two! There's two magma swords! Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, I wonder if he's... He's gotten off of us, maybe? Okay, Basilisk is out. Looks like Velanosaur maybe calmed down. We gotta kill that Basilisk. There's just no way around it. Unless that Kentrosaur can do it. But I don't have faith in the Kentrosaur. Oh shit, that, that fucker's coming for us. I don't know if we can... I don't know if we can shoot. We gotta drive, we gotta drive, we gotta drive, we gotta drive. Okay, he turned around, he turned around. He's coming back, he's coming back. Shit. Shit, 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 shit. Oh, there's a lead zick, these. No, 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 my god, this is the worst time! No! I think it left. Did it leave? It didn't leave! <sighs> oh 
Oh my god. This is like the worst timing ever. Okay, I think... I don't think he can reach us here. I think it... Knock on wood is too shallow. Okay, so we are confined to the shore with a basilisk we have to contend with. And the Volanosaur is close, but there's two Magmasaurs. This is a crazy situation. We gotta kill that basilisk though, there's just no way. I don't I don't want to risk him being around. If he catches with of us again, we are toast. There's another Volanosaur over there. I think that's closer to both the Magnosaurs. Okay. Basilisk went back down under. This is this is I have no idea what to do right now. This is this is an insane situation. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to go for this Velanosaur. I really think he's the one to go for. I just don't know how close that, that basilisk is gonna trigger. Okay. Okay, we're gonna try for this one again. I really, really hope we can do this. Okay. We're going to shore. Six in hand. It's a sloped area. Come on. Come on. I need four. Come on. Why is it obstructed? Can it not be obstructed? Crap. Okay. Six. Damn it. Okay. Okay. This is going to completely... Leave us the mercies of the power that be. Okay. And then we need a door frame. And then we need a door. Okay, and now we need the Velanosaur, which I don't see him anymore. But we just need him back. I see a Magnosaur that's deciding to come closer, which I really hope he doesn't come any closer because then if he does, we're dead. We're just dead. I think he's stuck, which that's cool. The side's looking okay. The boat's looking all right. Cool, we can see the fuel line from there. I think the Basilisk is still tucked up. Which is good, I think. I don't see him. He has a Magmasaur, level 4. <sighs> Where'd that Velanosaur go, though? Come on, he was hanging out here for so long! Crap! Oh, this has gotta work, it's gotta work. This is the only plan I got. Okay. <coughs> okay.
I wonder how much, actually. Oh, oh, shit, 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 shit. Okay. I've actually got an idea before we get into that. Um, okay, he's still coming up. I don't know if there's... Okay, this is perfect. Well, I say it's perfect, but... This might be an idea. I don't know if this will work or not. I don't think that would work, right? There's no way. Crap. Crap. I made a mistake. I made a mistake. Crap. I'm stuck. Okay, I can build another foundation. I got one more in me. But I really hope it doesn't destroy everything, because it's probably going to. Double damn it, double damn it, double damn it, triple fucking dump. God. Mm. <sighs> Let's see, can we just. Is there any way? There's just no way to move. Okay. Oh, okay, shoot, we got out. At the cost of that, but that's okay. I no longer have a roof, but that's all right. Where did the Volana sword go? That's the real question. I don't think I can just ride this. I don't even want to risk it anymore with that, but... Aw, oh, damn it, I did it again. Oh, shit! No! Oh my god! You've got to be kidding me. Come on! <laughs> no way! Okay, there's a ladder. I can craft a ladder. Sweet mercy. This is nuts. Okay. 
What do you mean it's obstruct? What do you mean it's obstructed? I need you. Come on. Come on, man. Just... No. No, come on, Art. Come on, guys. This can't be... This can't be it, right? This can't be how this goes. No. It's not obstructed. It's literally not. Come on. Come... Come on. Guys, come on. Oh my god, no. This... Uh, okay. I mean... I only got this option left. Bullshit. Okay. Let's hope that there's enough to make a wall. Okay, so we literally cannot leave this thing. Which is crazy. Um, actually, I have the ladder now. So I could at least use that for this. Oh, because it works here. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, that Velanosaurus is nowhere in sight. Oh, actually, he's right there. Far away. But maybe not too far. Okay, well, I guess we can't make it that far. I mean, still, this distance is pretty impressive. Let's see if we can get a shot. Uh. It's so hard to aim with this damn thing. Oh. Shit, I just saw one. Oh, I really don't want to hit that magma sword by mistake. Come on. Literally like the worst firing gun in the game. All right, I can't spend all my ammo. Fuck. I need something to help me out. I need something. Come on. Gotta give me a daggone break. This is crazy. I swear I'm just like the worst shot with this pistol. And we're blowing through all our ammunition. <sighs> Sweet mercy. This is too much. Okay. Let's try to figure out a different plan. Maybe if we can get another zipline action. So maybe if we start here. Right first. And then we look to where we can do something. Oh my god, no way. No! Oh my lord!
Oh, my Lanta. We're stuck. We are literally stuck outside. Why is everything broken? Why is this game so broken? I, I swear this game. Okay. We have the jump pad up here, which is crazy. Um, let's... Okay. Pistol. Come on. Get closer. I'm gonna start having to start chucking spears. Actually, I wasn't horribly off. I think it may have. I thought it noticed us. I mean, for what I thought was gonna be the most riveting episode so far has come down to broken mechanics and terrible aim. Oh my god. I need like a guaranteed shot at this point because we are literally... Oh my god, it was right there. Is this thing not happening? I literally shot the thing. This is not looking good. This is this is not looking good. We got 30 like a little over 30 shots left. I don't know what to do. I, I genuinely don't know what we're going to do right now. I can't use the zip line because this building is like the most broken thing ever. And this is crazy. It was right there. It was right there. And it, it didn't even hit it. It didn't even do anything. This is madness. This is absolutely madness right now. Madness, I swear. I don't want it to turn to nightfall. I don't want it to get dark. I mean, granted, we have the glow sticks, but still, I don't want that to happen. I want to kill this thing during the day. And they're, like, just right there. But I don't trust the gun anymore, and I don't want to keep shooting it. Because we've gone through so much ammunition already. And I just don't know what to do. Oh, God. I really don't want to charge him. Because we can't even get back in this building. Like, that's the worst part. Like, it's... Well, actually... We could. Okay. Crazy idea. We might be able to run in for a really close shot, turn and book it back to here, use the jump pad to get inside the building, and then we just hunker the F down and hold it out. That might honestly be our best course of action. Boat's still doing fine. Magma store's still stuck. I can't even see the Velanosaurs anymore. There's one. Level five. I honestly think that might not be a bad idea. I mean, it's a bad idea. Don't get me wrong on that, but it might be the best idea we have right now. Because otherwise, like we're we're not getting this. Like I can't keep shooting into the wind. We need to have that reserve ammo for when they're close. It's a huge risk. We could die right now by doing this, but at least if we can get them targeted back here, then we could at least get the fight started. 
and we can have it before nightfall. Because we have what time right now? Not long. All right, I uh, let me just test this running theory out real quick. So I'm running, I'm running, I'm running, real hoppity up, and then I go right into the building. Okay, all right, let's um, <sighs> guys, I'm <laughs> I'm so worried, but let's do it. Hooey! All right, I'm gonna wait till I see one come out in the open, I think. Or maybe I should just run out and just do it. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. I'd like him to be a little bit closer. Cause the farther we have to run, the farther we have to, we have to outrun them. Okay, and there's two, which means they're probably going to gang up on us, too, which is, man, double the pain. But they're getting farther away. All right, we got to make it now. We got to do it now. All right, we're going. Okay, 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 okay. Shit, another basilisk. No way. Shit, shit, shit. Oh, shit. No, 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 no. Oh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Dang it. Oh, no. No. Oh, no. The plan. Oh. The plan. We can't take a basilisk. And we don't have the firepower. We just don't have it. Oh, we just don't have it. Oh, no. Why is there another basilisk? Ah, oh, I had a feeling, too. Crap. Crap. Ah. Oh. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. This is a problem. This is a serious problem. I have no clue what we're going to do right now. I have no idea how we're going to get past this. We can't shoot them because our gun's not precise in the slightest. We don't have much ammo left, so we can't even tank the Basilisk if we wanted to. We could kill it, but like it's going to take like pretty much the rest of our munitions. Um, or at least half of them. And we ca we can't kill the Velanosaur without it. I don't know what we're going to do. We have to somehow avoid the Basilisk. <sighs> I might try to... I might try to go for that one that's farther away, but that's close to the Magmasaur. It might be our only shot. I don't know when he's going to wake up. Shit, he's up again. Fucking run, brud. Oh, he's coming this time. Okay. Nope. Okay, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming. Shit, fuck! Run, run, run! We gotta get out of here, we gotta get out of here now! Shit! Shit! Come on! No! 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 Come on! No! No! <laughs> Oh. Uh. Oh. Oh. Ah. Uh.
Man. Man, guys. Um, wow. I mean, I gotta say, at least to start, like, this has been the best feeling loss I've had so far, considering the last two I had was just from fall damage, which really sucked the mood out of me for a bit. I wanted it so bad. I wanted it so, so badly. And I got too hasty. We just didn't have enough. We just didn't have enough firepower. I wasted too many shots. That's really what happened. But we, we had no, no shot going against that basilisk. I, now, in hindsight, I don't know if the gas mask would have saved us. Um, for those of you who don't know, basilisks pretty much, they burrow into the ground. They have pretty much these three tendrils that act as bait that go above the ground. They come up out of the ground, and then they have a pretty, you know, typical bite attack. They can slide almost on any surface for the most part. They're very versatile. But they have an acid ball that they, well, a poison ball that they spit out that knocks you unconscious. And that's what happened to us. And I was like, we got to get to the boat. And I was, I mean, it's just, I was hoping to get to the water to slow it down. I mean, we might, we probably would have drowned. <sighs> I should have just ran. I should have just kept going. Well, I was worried because I just—I like, was trying to figure out, like, because if we just kited it, like, I got spooked. I went back into the, the, the enclosure, which really was nothing to protect us from anything of that caliber. Maybe if we would have got inside. But I was worried, too, because, like, I mean, you guys saw the clipping so bad in that game. Like, even if there's a wall, stuff can get through it without even breaking it. And bass looked such a weird shape. I didn't think that they'd be able to put up with it. Man. Ugh, guys, that was rough. That was really, um... <sighs> I thought we had it. I really thought we had it for a minute. I really thought, like, you know, this is a good plan. This is a good building structure. This is fine. Really what it came down to, I think, were a couple of factors. Um, one being, and this is most, probably the most minor, we sucked at, at shooting. Uh, I, it, granted, the weapon is really hard to aim with at a distant range. It's really bad for that, which is why the simple pistol gets such a higher rating than the fabricated one. Like, even though it does like, more damage, it's, it's such a bad pistol to aim with like outside of like something coming straight at you so it's it's really hard to hit something and the Volana sword being in that weird hilly spot was just not helping us with any favors so that sucked that was a um i think b was definitely the spawn environment we had no idea where they spawned aside from my inkling that they did spawn on fjorder because i saw them there doing b-roll footage and um that was like again the worst place to look for them. Like I, I knew it too. I knew the volcanic region is hard. Um, it has magmasaurs, it has basilisk, it has the X aloes, it has tyrannosaurs, it has pretty much all the carnivores stuffed into one itty bitty island, and everything else that's going to try to kill you. And yeah, it was just not a good look. Um, but I was thinking maybe if we just got in, killed one, got out, it'd be no problem. And then the third thing that really boned us over too was the uh, the structure. Like you know, we 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 had the the plan for the structure down pat. You know, like a science ready to go. But it just didn't work, uh, practically because it was just um, the the building system in Ark is so bad. It it is. There's no way around it. Like I really do love this game. The building system is one of the worst I think I've ever seen in any game period. It's just, it's horrendous. It doesn't cooperate. It doesn't even follow its own rules. Um, it's really messed up. Like, we couldn't even place that ladder. Like, it, it was so bad. And you guys saw it, like, when I did it. But it was like, man. So that really sucked, too. But, you know, in the end, like, we fought fairly. We 
did our best. We really we got to see the dinosaur. Um, I'm really upset we couldn't actually fight it. That really sucked. But we died nobly. I'd say dying to a basilisk, given what we had. Not a terrible way to go. We 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 held our ground pretty good and did a good job of deducing the situation. But had to get that out. I just I I just was too too lost in the sauce for that. So well, let me know you guys know what you guys think about the updates and the improvements with the movement gear. Um, I think that it's a good a great addition. Honestly, I think that it was a lot more fun for me at least. Um, to have some weird off tech to use, like the jump pad was cool, and like intuitive stuff, like the zip line and stuff was broken because of the stupid. Which again, that would have been a great part if we could a zip line from one place to the other, but I couldn't because the thing was broken, and I couldn't trust to go back in the building because that was broken. So it's like I was just stuck with stupid options. Um, so frustrating. But anyway, um, we'll get back into hunt number nine with our third punishment of the full season. So let's see if we can dig ourselves out of this next rut. And till then, my fellow Ark Adventurers, it's been another cracking adventure. <laughs>